Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandadeep Eye Hospital PG Teaching Institute and FECO SICS Training Center, Sangli, Maharashtra, India. In our center, we have a lot of teaching activities which includes hands-on training as well. This particular surgical video was shot with Samsung S24 Ultra with micro rec adapter and uh, I am doing surgery on Lumera 700 microscope and this is a mature cataract you can see that it's a white mature cataract and very very shallow anterior chamber and uh, that is the reason why patient was not dilated preoperatively you can see that the anterior chamber is very shallow and I am trying to stain this uh, capsule under the iris as well by injecting the air and then the dye and uh, the anterior chamber is very shallow it is evident here that uh, if I push the fluid too forcefully the iris can prolapse anytime so I am taking care that I wash off the dye very gently and then I am going to use the heavy dispersed COVD high look coat here which is combination of chondritin sulfate and uh, hyaluronate and as you can see I am pushing this uh, OVD from periphery to the center this avoids trapping of any fluid under the iris otherwise in such cases if the fluid is trapped or dye is trapped under the iris it may cause uh, prolapse of the iris through the incision and as the pupil you can see is not dilating well I am going to use a BHEX pupil expansion device here it's made up of polyamide, very thin profile, so even in shallow anterior chamber, it can be easily used and uh, maneuvered by these uh, specially made vertical forceps. The important thing is to hold uh, these flanges at by the tip of the forces. So when you use uh, the tip to hold it, you have better maneuverability and you can push the flanges under the iris so alternate flanges are placed under the iris so that uh, the pupil is retained to a size of around 5.5 millimeter it's a very very intumescent cataract so I'm going to first make a cruciate incision on the anterior capsule and then aspirate the liquefied cortex so that I remove the intralenticular pressure this is very important because if we don't do this there is a high chance of capsular excess extension in these cases you can use either a syringe attached to the 27 gauge cannula or you can attach your phaco tubings and aspirate it using the foot switch but important thing is to remove this intralenticular pressure or reduce the pressure and once the entry capsule is flat then you can easily do the capsurexis without any fear of a capsurexis extension. Now here you can see that uh, forceps is not holding the capsurexis tear and uh, I have changed the forceps now. So if you feel that the instrument that you are using is not proper you should immediately change it and here it is important that I go closer to the flap again and rehold rather than pulling this uh, flap uh, from away because that is uh, one of the reasons for capsurexis extension in these cases now I am going to do little fast forward of the FACO this is a kind of white cataract not very very hard but uh, yes it's a uh, grade 3 to 4 I would say and I am going to make a deep trench at the first now here I am using the S24 Ultra phone on auto focus mode and that's why you can see it has lost its focus so probably it's a better idea to use it on the manual focus mode to get a fixed fixation or fixed focus during the surgery but as you can see here though blurred I could uh, chop this, uh, this uh, nucleus into six pieces and then I'm going to emulsify them use of heavy dispersive OVD like Hylucot helps in uh, protection of the endothelium at the same time you can see that I am pulling one piece at a time so that emulsification ha happens completely for one piece before I go ahead with the other pieces so this avoids any flying pieces in the anterior chamber the pieces are free 
from each other that is important when you are doing the chopping if they are stuck to each other your quadrant trimmer takes longer time and there is always a risk that if it takes longer time there is a higher chance of uh, complication so that's the end of the procedure i have removed the b hex i have planted the i well and the eye looks quite good so in these cases it's important to dilate the patient on table use the pupil expansion device to deliver best results thank you